.gitignore files can be used to keep files from being checked into your repository, but .gitignore should be checked in by its own right. So what happens if you want to ignore some files but don't necessarily want them ignored for everyone? Hmm, let's mash on that. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the ASP.NET Monsters. I'm Dave Paquette, and we're here today with Simon Timms, who's going to show us how we can get ignore things, but have that apply only to us and not globally to the whole team. Mm -hmm. So let me give you a, a scenario here, because it sounds like a confusing prospect. Mm. Um, so one of the things that I like to add for my own use on projects are these little code tours. And I feel like we've talked about these before, and if we haven't, we'll probably do an episode on that. Um, but you can just click this thing here and record a code tour. Um, and the idea here is that I can flip through this code base here and I can add kind of annotations here. Uh, and then once I've added these, then I can kind of have this thing, which is like documentation that sits to the side. Now, when I'm adding these code tours, it's usually for like a specific feature that I'm working on or a specific project. And it's not necessarily something that I want to maintain going forward. It's just something I want like temporarily. Um, so I don't want to check them in for everyone. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to necessarily ignore them by just putting them in the git ignore file so that nobody else can check those files in. Uh, so what I needed was like a secret private place that I could say, please exclude these files, uh, but don't necessarily exclude them for other people. So as it turns out, there is a place for doing that. So if you take a look in the terminal here, uh, my .git folder doesn't seem to be showing up over here. I think it's ignored by default. Um, but there is a file here called .git slash info exclude. Uh, so if we take a look at that file, uh, so that takes in basically the same syntax that we had before for ignore files, uh, but this one's just like private and secret for me. So if I take a look at what would be checked in right now, I can see that I have test.tour, uh, which is gonna be my code tour. Uh, but I would like to exclude this. So I could just add it here as like a star.tour, uh, save this file, and it's fallen off the list of things that are gonna be checked in over here on the left-hand side. Uh, so this isn't something that I would use particularly frequently, uh, but it is a kind of nice feature to have. Uh, the other option is it, if you have a file that's like already tracked that you want to ignore, um, you can make some changes for Git on that. And we have another video that we've done on that previously that I will post in the link below. But yeah, this is just a quick and easy way to ignore files privately. And this exclude file, it just remains on my disk. It doesn't get checked into the repository. Hey, well, that was easy. Sure was. Cool. All right, well, thanks everybody for joining us on this quick episode of the ASP Net Monsters. Remember to like, comment, and share, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.